you may be getting hit with a uh, tropical storm or possibly even still a hurricane in within the week. Um, tropical Storm Dorian is currently projected to be getting close to Florida um, Saturday, Sunday, um, and we're kind of in the cone of uncertainty. So with this being in the cone of uncertainty, we need to start preparing for the possibility of getting hit with a tropical storm or even possibly a hurricane. So with that possibility in mind, um, first thing that I got to try and do, we of course got to clean up around both properties. Um, we have been doing a lot of things across both properties, kind of organizing, cleaning out, decluttering, and also starting to pack, but we'll talk more on that later. But we've got to kind of sift through everything, and one of the other things we gotta do is I've gotta try and see how I can set up my garden so that it has at least the best chance of surviving because there's a possibility I may lose a lot of this stuff, including my tomatoes. Now, right now, I've got two rows of tomatoes going right now, and I have been trying out another method of trellising, and I'm trying out kind of like a variation of the Florida weave, um, basically where you set up posts um, every certain distance. I kind of just set up end posts. It would probably be better if I put a middle post right in the middle, um, but then you send a string down along the sides on both sides or you weave it back and forth. So I'm trying that out, seeing it. So far it's kind of working, though I really do want to try out the trellising. But as you can see, they're starting to curve inward, which means I still need, I need to run a new strand of wire and try and tighten this down a little bit because it's kind of loosened with them getting taller. So we're gonna go ahead and do that today. Um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my uh, grow table over there because those little plants will not do well. Now, over here in the grow table, unfortunately, these may never see the uh, garden. They're a little neglected right now. I gotta get them transplanted. These are doing pretty good. I've got some sun gold cherry, some Brad's atomic grape. I've got quite a few of the Brad's atomic grape, about three, two rows. Two rows? Yeah, I got two rows of those. And then I've got some, cha um, some Cherokee purple um, that were old seeds, so I didn't have much hope of them getting, of them actually germinating, but we got one. One did germinate, and then we've got Nata Peños from um, Baker Creek, the uh, non-spicy jalapenos, which is really exciting to me. But I may have to move those into the house or into the garage for the storm so that I can save them. Another thing we've got also is our uh, vanilla orchids that we were gifted by someone at the Sustainable Living Conference. We've got four vanilla orchids that were propagated. One of them did not survive, but we managed to have four propagate successfully and grow. This one's actually looking a little burnt at the tips. I wonder why that's happening. But we are gonna try our hands at vanilla orchids. Thankfully, this is looking like it's possibly gonna be a, um, like I said, a tropical storm or possibly even a category one hurricane. Um, for Florida, that's not bad. Um, the house that we live in right now is actually designed to withstand not only hurricanes, but also tornadoes. It is a concrete structure, um, steel frame concrete build home. So we're safe, we're secure. Um, we just need to make sure that we clean up the area. We have missed, because we've been working on so many projects, we have things everywhere. So we're gonna focus on cleaning up things, putting them up. You don't wanna have any loose debris anywhere because those any, any loose debris, no matter how big or small, becomes a potential projectile. So we're, we gotta tie down Leon's trampoline as well. So we're gonna be working on that. But first, tying up these tomatoes. Now, I know this is not how a Florida weave is traditionally done, but I'm also not an expert. I'm just doing the best I can. Just tying this off to keep it secured. And then at the same time as I come through, I'm gonna also prune off the excess, all the suckers and things that I don't want on here for now. So here's a sucker. Prune you off. 
I did uh, two, one, one sucker on each one so that I could make kind of split off at the base and grow up. Normally you could just pinch off the suckers, but I'm, I've kind of been neglecting my duties on maintaining this one. So I'm gonna just cut off the ones that have gotten considerable size. And I'm hoping that these strings will offer some support against the storm so that the wind does not just blow them completely over. Hopefully, we'll see. Probably might not work, but it's better to try than to not try at all. The tomatoes done up. Um, they're pretty good. We've got quite a few. I'm worried because I'm like, what do you, what am I gonna do? Quite a few of them have fruit on them, as you can see. So, I mean, do you, I just, harvest them. I mean, can you make cherry tomato, ch cherry green tomatoes, fried cherry green tomatoes? Like, is that a thing? Maybe I'll make that a thing. But, um, we've got some basil. We've got about six basils that I planted, and then we've got the basil, these two basils that Leon started for me for Mother's Day. And then I've got some cranberry hibiscus. Don't mind the weeds. I need to mulch this area. I was just letting them come up. But we've got that. And then of course my tomatoes. So we got some Madura melons and then some moon and star melons. I love this. Look at the leaves. The star patterns go not just on the fruit but also on the leaves as well. It's really cool. Then we've got our singular bell pepper that I've been growing and neglecting but growing <laughs> and then we've got some young peppers as well from the um, secret gardener seed challenge that I transplanted over here where they'll do better so I guess wish us luck I'm gonna start clearing up around here but at least I'm a step closer to having my garden somewhat prepared. But hopefully I don't lose these plants.